So now in this video we're going to look at a bistable uh, circuit. So the output is going to stay low until we press the switch. Now the output is going to stay high until we press the uh, switch. And as you can see, it uh, can go haywire. So we could get switch bounce where the switch uh, makes multiple connections and it bounces back and forth. But in any case, once we get a solid high or low, it's going to stay that way. But the cool thing is we only got one switch. Uh, there's really only one input. So now the main part of the circuit are these two uh, NOT gates that are in series. This is the 74HC14 integrated circuit. It has uh, six NOT gates in it. We're using two of them. So uh, the NOT gate has an opposite output of what the input is. So if we have a high output here for whatever reason, so high in, that'll be low out. And then uh, low out, low in means high out right there. So you can imagine high, low, high, it locks into place. If you have a low out here, low in means high, uh, low. And so we have six NOT gates in the integrated circuit that we have to power it. Of course, we're using five volts. So input, input, input. These are unused inputs. We're giving them a voltage. So input, output, and then we got the input right there. So let's go down to output. You can see that goes to the input of the next one. And then the output, of the bottom one, goes to the input there. We have our cycle. So now we got the uh, switch part there. You can see one side of the switch, we got a, a 10 nanofarad uh, capacitor there going to ground. And then we have a 100,000 ohm resistor going where the switch and the capacitor connect. And then it's coming to where the uh, two inverters connect. We can put it to any spot uh, where this little blue jumper is because that is where they make their connection. Now we just need to get our uh, feedback when we close the switch to the capacitor. So we go to the uh, voltage out and we can go uh, right here if we want, anywhere that it comes out and then go to the switch. But uh, it'll probably be a little better to uh, put it up there so we can see the output circuitry. So now the output, it's not on the schematic. We're gonna take a 1000 ohm resistor going to the positive supply there. And then uh, we'll take the blue LED. So the long lead, the anode, needs to be towards the more positive side. And uh, it will light up when the output goes low. The uh, power is turned off at the moment. So we don't have to worry about that. Now we're going to take uh, this resistor. So there you can see we got ground there. And we're going to put the resistor to uh, the output there. The jumper brings it down to just get things out of the way. And we're going to take this LED. So you can see we've got ground there, the short lead, the cathode goes that way, the long lead, the anode goes up there. It will light up when the power supply is uh, higher, which it is now. I just turned the power on and we will test this out, press the button, and there you can see we latched it into place. 